So, hello again. A lot of everybody um, back, and hello to our group that joined us for today, and thank you for allowing me again to come share some information about the foundation. Uh, for those that caught the video just now, um, that was our year in review. And uh, it, it's, it's what I call a laptop video, usually, because it's very low key. It just is explaining everything we do across the world, but in a very not um, marketing way. It's just um, kind of a, a summary. And I thought, you know, won't it be fantastic at the end of this year when we do that video again? And we'll have Australia in, included in our work there. And uh, that'd be pretty, pretty amazing. So I, I'm very excited about that. Um, I thought, you know, today we're going to hear from people who have been on Voluntours to tell you the impact on their lives. Um, but I think to understand why the foundation exists, the founders of World Ventures, uh, Mike and Wayne, when they, they gathered together several years ago to think about this business, they thought, because they have hearts, they have service hearts, they're, they're, they're very, um, focused on service, and they thought, how could we make our foundation something different than just having a foundation? And they discovered the, the world of volunteerism and said from the get-go, this is something we must do. And as I talked about yesterday, what a gift that we can, as a global movement, become a force where we leave the world better than we found it. Um, you know, I, don't, I have to tell you, I get up every day and pinch myself and say, I cannot believe I have this job. Because every day I get to meet enthusiasm and try and match it with service. And it's, it's an incredible gift. So thank you um, to everybody for supporting the foundation. So, um, Let's, let's take, we're going to go a little bit over what we did yesterday just because there's a, a lot of new people here today. And for those of you up in the rafters, hello up there. And then I can see you. <laughs> so, um, but let, let's just take a look at what we do. So, it's, it's an experience to volunteer globally for everyone. It's for you, I am here to serve you. My, the foundation, the team I have is here to serve you so that you can experience what it means to be in service. Many of you already do wonderful things in Australia or globally, but this is our way of saying, how can you have fun, freedom, and fulfillment in one package? It's a heck of a deal, you know, it's pretty magical. So, um, we wanted to talk about Guatemala. I told uh, you all, and uh, for again, our, our new group today, we are looking in the Asia Pacific region for a similar program so that you all can build teams that go and make a difference in Thailand or wherever we land, where there's an ongoing service project that becomes part of your culture. Because in Guatemala, we have built 53 schools in the last five years. That's pretty. And we fundraised to build um, 29 this year. Last year's fundraising will build 29. 29 classrooms, so I don't know. It depends, sometimes it's four rooms, sometimes it's one, so uh, it averages out. So um, that's pretty fun. So we're going around the globe. This is our biggest year. We are focusing on what we consider the right uh, um, shorter volunteers in region. So the host that will be with you will be in language. So say you're in Thailand as a guide and a host that's in language, as well as, of course, English. But um, we're doing these five day, four nights so that you can go, you can have a little culture, you can do the service project, and if you want to extend the trip, uh, beginning or end, you can. Like uh, one of um, Farak is going to go to Saloniki 
in Greece to do the project there. He just told me today, which is amazing, thank you. And um, he's going to extend that trip and go to Athens and do, do lots of things. So um, I think the list is pretty exciting. Um, obviously, we're very pleased that we're here in Australia started. And um, so Brazil, I would like to tell you a little bit about Brazil. Because um, it's a story about connecting with world ventures. So we, we had a lot of requests to go to Brazil. And we thought, well, why not? It sounds, you know, we've gone to Peru, we're in Guatemala, we're Cuba, you know, let's advance down south. And um, I was looking at the favelas. And I've worked in the garbage community of Delhi, so I understand large um, slums. But I, I didn't really know much about Brazil, so they're called favelas. And then I found this wonderful site, and it was in English, which helped me. And it was somebody who lives in the favela who does projects there. So I contacted him. Within 12 hours, we were on the phone with each other on Skype. So I know, you know already that there's something magical here. And so he is, of course, an American. He's from Denver, committed his life, and, he, and now lives there. And I explained to him that we are this very enthusiastic, unskilled, happy group. And instead of click, which I do get, I have to tell you, like, oh, no, that, not for this place, he said, that's amazing. And I said, OK, great. What are we going to do with that? And he said, well, let me get back to you. So the next day, he called me back, and he said, I've got it. We're going to do 300 mosquito nets on children's beds in the favelas and prevent dengue fever from getting to these children this year. And he said, it, it, it's like, <laughs> he got you. He totally got that we would come in and we get to go in the houses, because these are permanent structures. These are not cardboard structures. This is where people have lived for uh, many generations now. But we, he got who we were. He didn't say and send me thousands of dollars every month and keep this thing going, but will make a difference. And it was such a magical moment. And um, again, you know, the, the, the who that you are is so easy for people to, to see now, and they, they like it. It's not like, well, I don't get that. It's like, fantastic, come and join us. So um, I will be at the, uh, the foundation booth if any of these destinations are of interest to you. And we'll go over them a little bit if I have time now. So. Um, we are going to be in Malaysia. We are going to be in China. We are going to be in Indonesia. And I do believe a lot of you love Bali and would like to go there. So I know that trip is live now, the November trip. And um, Malaysia is live now. So everything went live around 10 a.m. your time, I think, because at uh, 8 a.m. it wasn't. And then they text me and said it is. So. So this is, this is um, things we can all do together in different parts of the world. We'll take a, a look at a couple more. And then these are different dates in Indonesia. Did anybody go to Journey um, to on the service project with us? Yeah, so this is th we're returning to that, that orphanage, which is great. So I, I'm going to show again the, the Thailand Blessed Homes video. I have to tell you that I became a complete um, fibber I like to, you know, yesterday with you all because this morning, Ule from our Blessed Homes in Meso wrote to me and said, I can't not see you all this year. You do need to come back. We do need to find a project that we can work on together. So please don't tell everybody you're not coming back to see me. So I'm telling you all today, I did tell you no, an untruth and he's back and he's excited and you know, it's, uh, it's just how it is. And so we work with our partners. Um, but let's look at the Thailand video, and then I have some friends I'd like you to meet. Hello, this is Gwyneth Lloyd, your World Ventures Foundation Executive Director. And I'd like to share with you an amazing recent experience in Thailand on a volunteer. Our job there was to help them build a homework center, update their housing for children. We had a boys and girls dorm that we worked on. And again, you'll see everybody in this video 
thoroughly engaged in construction and having a great time while we do this together. There's the team building aspects, the camaraderie, the travel, the fun, those are all great. But most importantly, it's really what happens when we're in service to children. The World Ventures Foundation leads the way in making a difference globally in the lives of children. Interested in joining a World Ventures Foundation volunteer? We would love to have you. So please take a look at our website. You'll see our partners we do this work with. It's worldventuresfoundation.org and see you on a volunteer soon. Thank you. <laughs> so we have two of our movie stars in the front here, you know, we have Rhino and James. So two of our guests that were there and have been back since is uh, Delphi and Stephen Wong, and they'd like to tell you about why they serve and why they do volunteers. So please welcome them. <laughs> Thank you. Good day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Stephen. This is my wife, Delcy. We're from Singapore. <laughs> uh, basically, what uh, struck me when I saw this uh, World Ventures platform because of the volunteers. Because me and my wife, we enjoy, um, uh, we love kids, and we saw that there's an avenue to give back. So that's why we joined World Ventures, actually. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> We're very happy that uh, we are actually going back again in May. That will be our third trip to Blessed Homes. Yes, because uh, they have three orphanages and we take turns to help uh, refurnish uh, the planks in the walls. Yeah, because the, the, the original planks were very thin, so they got chewed up by the, the weather. Mm. So we have to remove them and put in thicker plywood and paint it and sawing. You can imagine taking out the old plywood has all the cutouts. <laughs> so we have to put it on the floor and redo a new one, paint and put it on again. It's hard work, but it's <laughs> worth it. <laughs> yes. When we booked the first uh, Mesot volunteer last year, we thought we are giving back. Mm -hmm. But after the first trip, we got back more than we gave. Inside yeah. here. Yes. And that's why this uh, third trip, we are bringing our daughter because um, now we want to expose our children to see that the world is bigger than ourselves. We can be a blessing to those who are underprivileged. And World Ventures Foundation make this possible for us. Yeah. So we're really glad, great and grateful to World Ventures Foundation. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I can't say it better than that, can I? Um, oh, gosh. Um, you know, it means a lot to have started something so global and then be the facilitators that, that, that you know, helping this, this grow. And um, we're excited that in um, Singapore, which they've announced today, um, we will have a World Ventures Foundation director, and that person will be servicing this market and uh, available to come to events when I can't or we come together, but will really be you know, a multilingual in-market so that we can really impact in, in, in the right way what, what's needed here. Because we are listening and we are doing the things we're doing, so many of you have come today, and I'm going to try again with this cans business. Um, but, uh, you know, we've already started seeing, you know, people have joined, come to the booth and said, we want to book, we want to book today. And we're so excited. And then other people have come to me saying, I have a project um, in Melbourne that you, you could come do with us if you're back for boot camp. And, you know, that's why I'm here. But, you know, sitting in Dallas, Texas, I can only imagine that this would be possible. But together, we're making it happen. And it's your story, your world of, of service. And I really want to make sure that we do this together. 
So thank you, thank you. So let's just take a couple more um, looks at uh, what's available this year, and it's really more to tell you, uh, you know, the, the video at the beginning, the year in the review, you can find that on YouTube. It's just World Ventures Foundation 2014, and you can show that to people. It's three and a half minutes. It's not going to wear anyone out, and it really does give the flavor of the global nature of it. So let's take a look at a couple more slides. Okay. So um, this is the one that's up now in May that we're going to Cairns. And um, I'm meeting, I'm hoping, on Thursday with Act for Kids to confirm everything with them. So, you know, hang on to your seats. And I'm bringing up no India because I know that several of you have already talked to me about India. That's not available for booking, but it will be. If you follow the foundation on Facebook, so it's World Ventures Foundation, not World Ventures, a separate Facebook page, you will see everything we do live. So the day that we put up these trips for booking, it goes up on Facebook that we're, it's happening. It, it goes up on Twitter and everywhere else, but this is where the in-depth information is. And we're going to um, have, uh, we're going from Bombay to Corella um, with a stopover for the Ajanta and Alora Caves, which I love. Fine. So Feed the Hungry, we're going into San Miguel de Land. It's an old colonial town in Mexico. Um, we're going to build a garden there in the Grand Canyon. An amazing trip. We're going into the Grand Canyon, and then we're going to a Boys and Girls Club t in the Navajo region to do Native American work. So this will be our second annual Native American trip. Last year, we went to the Black Hills, the Badlands. This year, we're going to Grand Canyon. And again, you can extend this trip and do what you want. Before a um, uh, cruise, we're going to be in Anchorage. Um, then I just can tell you more. It's just all so luxurious sounding. You know, Zimbabwe, we're going to uh, Victoria Falls. Um, Peru, we're going back to Machu Picchu and working there on stove building in villages. Brazil, I've told you about with Project Favela. Cyprus is Cannes for Kids. So everywhere we go, we seek some uh, a, a connection about children. But what's really needed in that market? It's not what my vision is. It's what if we if you all tell us in our research you want to go to Brazil or Cyprus. Then our job is to find someone who's got a project that works for us. And so they're very diverse because they're country-centric and even city-centric. So coming to the end, um, the, uh, you know, I, 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 as I think you knew yesterday, I could tell you stories about the service work we do everywhere. I think the video shows that, and Stephen and Delphi really told you what it means to them from the heart. This is just our T-shirt we have in the store here that helps fund us do fundraising. So the, the store donates everything after the cost of the T-shirt to us. So why volunteer? Well, <laughs> get my little arms. Um, so to volunteer is, is um, something happens when you give, give of yourself. And you do m manifest positive change for the recipient. But nothing is greater than the change you experience. And um, I know that in my life, that's why I'm in nonprofit service. I started my career in, uh, as a uh, global executive search consultant and had my own company and went to India with my minor daughter who wanted to serve every child on the, in the um, slums there and ended up falling in love with the families and realizing there was a bigger world I could be in service to. So, you know, let's do this together. Let's have a great time together. Come see me at the booth. I'm afraid I won't be here tomorrow, but I will be here this afternoon. And I'd love to see any of you who want to chat and find out new. And there's always, you can reach me at eTeam at wvfoundation.org. So thank you so much. Have a great afternoon. Thank you for listening. Bye.